Good morning to you. Welcome back. We love when Matt Lee visits. We always learn so much. And one of the things I just learned, Matt, is uh, June 21st happens. June 31st happens to be one of the busiest days in the calendar year for closings. Yeah, June 30th. Is June 30th. The, yeah, sorry. so the, the Friday of the the last Friday in June is usually the busiest um, closing. Like, if not the busiest, one of the busiest days for people to take over their new homes. So I thought, you know what, we've been going through these busy times. It's been very hectic, and I thought, you know what, let's just talk about what do you do when you take over the new home? So you get the keys. You get the keys. Yeah. And it's like you want to make a plan. You sit down and you say, okay, what am I going to do? We say, the first thing I always say is take that book of that home inspector and, and sit down and go through it. Do Providing it couple, they did have a home inspection. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Or yeah. I'm sure you took notes if, you know, if it was a third-party inspection or you walked through and the agent said, you know, you want to take notes on these few things. Um, I would go through it. I would say, you know what, we want to go through the home inspection even a couple days before and let's make a list. You know, let's make a list of things we want to do. Um, it could be little things like uh, near the bathroom sink having that um, plug being yeah, the, the GFI, the circuit breaker plug. I always say like if you're going to start painting, one thing is is that there's going to be people are going to take a bunch of paintings off the walls. You're going to have either nails in the wall, you're going to have holes, you're going to want to touch up. The other thing is is you're going to have plugs uh, and, and light switches. Make that decision right now if you want to switch it all to white if they're cream colored or different colors because once you get that done it kind of gives you that new fresh look mm. uh, because you're going to be painting let's update it before all of a sudden you've got this fresh paint in and you're like oh I, I'm not sure I like the color of those plugs. I mean and all of a sudden now you're backtracking. Yeah. So you want to you want to cover that as you go. You want to be able to move your stuff in without having to worry about that stuff. Yeah yeah you want to take care of it if you can uh, before. Uh, one thing I always recommend to my clients is uh, have the furnace ducts cleaned. You know, we had we did it as soon as we moved in our house. I mean, how long was it before the last person cleaned the ducts in the furnace? Like you always have the furnace, you know, uh, checked and cleaned for the furnace itself. But the duct work, you've got cold air returns that are sucking air through the house, so you're sucking dust. And if people had cats, dogs, anything before. Um, you know, and you, you know, your child has an allergy or you, you know, it's just dust in general. Have that cleaned as soon as you move in, put a fresh filter in the furnace um, and uh, do that. I mean, we used Miller Eastern Air. They were great. Uh, I would recommend them. And, uh, and then, yeah, I, I would take care of it from there. Cleaning um, the gutters outside. You know, we, we're in the middle of summer now. You know, we've got a lot of leaves that are dropping. Um, you got the crab apples. If you have a crab apple tree close to your house, mm. we do, right? So it's you know that's why that'll I always clog think it up. It. Clog it up. Um, consider either you know getting the guards or or just making sure that you get up and, and take a look. And then the water's not pouring over the side of your house and, and creating a, a you know a divot around the house and where water can sit. So um, uh, sounds like some of these things can be asked for uh, for conditions. You could ask for it to be done prior to closing. You can ask for anything. It just depends on if it's depending on the agreement, you know, and it, everything depends on the individual agreement. And it's like how much in demand, how much, you, you know, the price, closing dates, you know, certain things people say, yeah, sure. You know, if everything's going really smoothly and they say, you know what, we'll have the ducts clean prior to closing uh, or we'll have the furnace clean prior to closing. Every deal is individual, you know, and, yeah. and it can be. It's your right to ask. You have yeah. the right to ask for sure. So, and I would think little things too, like uh, if your fridge needs defrosting, if it's an older fridge. Yeah, like if you're going to cleaning the cupboards. Nothing more frustrating than you know putting fresh, clean plates in a cupboard that looks dirty. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna. So I mean, if you're gonna take over the appliances, I always do a walkthrough with my clients the day prior to closing to make sure everything's you know that there's not dents in the wall and that everything's up and working. I mean, you want to make sure take a look at those things and then say, okay, well, when we move in, we're going to have to defrost that freezer if you included it. Or um, the other thing that I always recommend is uh, look at the caulking around the tubs. Like if you a lot of places have <coughs> tile on the walls and then you've got this acrylic tub. Um, take a look at the caulking because if there's say you're moving in with a family and there's only two people living in the house, well. If there's say there's three ba bathrooms, you know they might only use one. All of a sudden, your family's going to use three, mm. and all of a sudden you start turning on taps that haven't been turned on in a while. Wow! And all of a sudden you've got this water hitting this wall and running down, and all of a sudden there's this little separation of caulking, and all of a sudden it creates a, a mountain out of a molehill because all you had to do was check it. Right. So there's just little things that I would go through, take a look, um, create a list, and and definitely use the home inspection book. Um, 
as a checkpoint and just kind of check off the stuff as you go through, um, you'll feel pretty good about it. We have about 45 seconds left. Uh, yeah. You want to add to uh, Sean Binkley's comments earlier this week about not panicking. Relax. Yeah, I think it's a, I, I think it's one of these things that we're we're getting into the position that there is a good supply and demand. We, we have um, new listings coming up all the time. We live in a great area. It's a very healthy area. Um, you know, CTV came out with their national numbers the other day. Uh, and we're at five oh four, five hundred and four thousand dollars for the uh, national average uh, for but an average you, home. But if you take out Toronto and Vancouver numbers, that drops to three ninety four. Three ninety four. So you drop to three ninety four across the average. But Kingston itself is actually three oh four. So uh, three oh five. Sorry, on on average. So we are looking very healthy and very good. Good. Okay, Matt Lee. Always love to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Matt, here's how to get a hold of him. Real Estate Tips, brought to you by Matt Lee of Royal LePage.